Hello everyone, my name is Anna Rose Codd and I'm the course coordinator and lecturer on the early years degree programmes in AIT. In AIT we offer three programmes. We offer a level seven ordinary degree, we offer a level eight abinitio, which is a four-year degree, that's an honours degree, and we offer a level eight add-on, which is a one-year degree that can follow on from the level seven ordinary degree. To tell you a little bit about myself, I, I over a course of over 20 years, I ran a sessional preschool, which is a preschool that offers three hours care and education to preschool children. So I bring a lot of experience and knowledge to our programs. And what I'll do on, on this presentation is I'll run through just some of the background, the context, and the, the modules that we cover in our programs. Just waiting for the slides now to move on. Okay, so. The provision of early childhood education and care is changing rapidly in Ireland. And that has happened, I suppose, over the last 20 years where we have seen continuous change. The quality is extremely important in, in the care and education that we provide for our young children. In our courses, we'll cover children from birth to preschool age. And the value of early childhood education and care is acknowledged by the government and society as a public good. And what do we mean by that? What's recognised is that quality education and care provides a very strong foundation for, for children's holistic development. And what that essentially means is that this is a time, a very, very special time in the lives of young children where quality matters. Quality matters in terms of the relationships, interactions that the children engage in. And how do ch young children learn? They learn through play. So seeing as, as a public good, this is seen as a very, very strong foundation that helps children in the present and also prepares them for the future. So the programmes in AIT that, that we offer in AIT reflect the changes that have happened over the past 20 years. And in that regard, AIT, we are currently engaged in a programmatic review. And that essentially means that we are updating our programmes to reflect all of the new changes that, that are happening and that we can, our programmes can continue to evolve to adequately and adequately prepare our, our students, our graduates as future early years care and educators. The students develop an understanding of children's health, welfare and development through the integration of theory and practice. So what does that mean? It means that students will understand what we do, why we do it and how we do it in terms of children's education and care. So that provides the theory. And then the practice then, you will see as we go along, the practical skills and the modules that, that um, support our students. So what I've, what I've shown you here is, is the, the lovely early years lab that we have in AIT which allows our students to gain hands-on knowledge of working in an early years setting. So the modules on the programme include principles and practices in early years. And what does that mean? In, that, in those modules there, we will cover the skills and the knowledge that students require in order to go out and effectively work in early years settings. And as I said previously, children, learn through play. So drama and creative studies help students to engage in that playful learning 
that is so, so important for children. Then obviously then because, because of, the, of the society that we live in, it is really important that our students have a thorough understanding of social policy, of, of um, leadership, management, law, all of those feed into how we provide quality education and care. We, we cover topics such as curriculum and the various pedagogical approaches to supporting children's learning and development. Research is an integral part of our programme because all our, ed, all our students engage in research. What is best practice? What does it mean? What does quality mean? And then to put all of that into practice, our students go on placement. Currently, our placement, our students go on placement over a three year, over the course of the first three years. And what we expect that students will do is that they will gain practical experience in diverse placements. So they may work in creches, so they will be working with babies. They will be working with toddlers, wobblers and preschool. They may work in Nienwa. They may work in high scope or Montessori settings. And again, you see where the, our, our early years lab supports children's, supports our students' engagement in the various modules that we have. So their practice placement then, as I said, working, working in, in, various, in various settings. So you will see the range of equipment that we have that encourages our students to value play as part of their supporting children's learning and development. And then how, how are the modules that are on our programme, how are they assessed? So we ensure that students have a variety of, of assessment procedures so that their assessments will be covered through presentations, and that may be individual or group presentations, demonstrations, and that may be skills demonstrations or group facilitations. They will also have written assignments and they will have examinations. So what happens then when our students then have, have completed their program? They can, once they have completed the, the once they have completed the three-year program, they can then continue on their studies with the level eight, the year add-on. They can also apply for various postgraduate programs that are offered in AIT and in other colleges. And they can apply for a, a master's that we are currently in the, in the process of developing. What career opportunities would you expect once you have graduated? So the, the pathways are continuing to, to broaden as, as the value of early years continues to, to be appreciated. So what pathways can we cover? We can work as a team in diverse early year settings. What roles can you have? You could be a room leader, you could be a supervisor, you could also have managerial roles. And then with experience and further education, you can, you can apply for uh, positions in TUSLA, the Department of Education and Skills, and Better Start. So Better Start uh, is, is um, government, a government organization. And what Better Start does is that it supports settings who are, who are looking to improve quality provision. For further information on our programme, you can contact Oliver Hegarty, who is our head of department, and the details are there. You can also find us in the undergraduate prospectus. And as I said, you can find us on pages 71, 73 and 75. And also, if you want any further information, my email address is at the front of the presentation. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen. Thank you.